Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 9. Figure 4 shows a sketch of the curve with equation x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 50. Show that dy by dx equals y minus x over 3y minus x. So to do this we're going to need to differentiate our given equation and we're going to do this term by term. So the first term is x squared, differentiate that with respect to x, nice and easy, we get 2x. Now if you notice I've put the minus in already that follows the x squared. I've done this so we don't have to worry about the negative when we come to differentiate 2xy. So differentiating 2xy, we've got x times by y, so we're going to need to use the product rule here which is the differential of 1 times by the original form of the other, add those two the other way around, which gives us 2x times by the differential of y, which is dy by dx, plus y times by the differential of 2x, which is 2. We've then got the differential of 3y squared, so differentiating y with respect to x, we end up with 6y, so the power of 2 has come down, so multiply by the 3, and we've got a dy by dx on the end. And this is all equal to the differential of 50, so it's equal to 0. So here's our differentiated equation, but we need to rearrange it to get it into the given form. So expanding out the bracket, moving the non-dy by dx terms, so the 2y and the 2x, over to the right, we're then going to factorise the left hand side, so we end up with dy by dx times by 6y minus 2x, divide by 6y minus 2x, we're almost there now, if we just half top and bottom of the fraction, there is our answer. So for part B, we need to find the exact coordinates of the point P on the diagram. Now looking at P, we can see that the gradient is completely vertical. So the gradient as we approach P is heading towards infinity. Now we've got our equation for the gradient, which is y minus x over 3y minus x. So to get a fraction heading towards infinity, we can set the bottom equal to 0. So 3y minus x equals 0. Rearranging this gives us x equals 3y, which we can use as a simultaneous equation with our equation for the curve by replacing the x with 3y. Expanding the brackets gives us 9y squared minus 6y squared plus 3y squared equals 50. Collecting like terms gives us 6y squared equals 50. y squared is 50 over 6. y equals plus or minus 5 root 3 over 3. Now we already know that x is equal to 3y, so using that gives us x equals plus or minus 5 root 3. Now as you've noticed, our x and y, we've got both positive and negative coordinates there. But looking on our diagram, we can see that there are two points with the vertical gradients, p and q. p is in a negative quadrant, so we're going to take the negative of our two answers. So the coordinates are minus 5 root 3 and minus 5 root 3 over 3. We now need to explain briefly how to find the coordinates of the point that is furthest north of the origin O. So looking at our diagram, we can see the point furthest north is the top of the oval, which has a gradient of 0, completely horizontal. Our equation for the gradient has got a numerator of y minus x, so using this, we can say that y minus x equals 0, and we've got our original equation for the curve, x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 50. We've now got two simultaneous equations to solve, which will give us two answers, but because we want the top point with gradient 0, we're going to take the positive answers. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.